So now we're at the Sunjiki Hongaji Temple, and it is, according to the sign, the head temple of the Jodo Shinsu denomination of Buddhism. Somebody that just walked past me right here actually did a bow before walking up, so it must be a sign of respect. And we're gonna go inside, see what it's like on the inside. drink out of a heater. They're all warm drinks. And sushi and rice. Everywhere you go, like every other shop is sushi. Noodle bowls. Looks so good. Nathan said, is this just plain green tea? And I said, I don't know, read the label. And then I said, wait a minute, you can't. I shook out for sale. My mom used to make that. Now we are at the Hamariku Gardens, which is already gorgeous. And getting here was so simple because everybody that I stopped and asked Hamariku Gardens, they would bow and smile and point me in the right direction. One gentleman couldn't speak English, even drew me a map. There is so much hospitality here. I'm loving it. And we're gonna go and see what this is like. Hamariku Gardens. It's a place of special beauty and a historic site and they have a 300 year old pine tree and a field of flowers. I'm excited. So Nathan and I were talking about the great weather. Very nice, no humidity, cool, perfect temperature. I don't think I've even broken a sweat, which I guess I'm kind of used to breaking sweats and stuff from South Florida, but anyway. It's really nice here, very comfortable. Kind of an overcast day. It was supposed to rain this morning. It hasn't yet. So now we're walking around the Hamariku Gardens which I was disappointed to hear that the Japanese cherry blossoms were in bloom a month ago and we missed them. They're not in bloom anymore. Very disappointed about that. But I'm loving what I'm seeing so far in this garden. We're gonna walk around the entire thing and end at the flower field kind of, I guess, as a grand finale. Little stone walkway, pretty bamboo structure. So for all you people back in Louisiana like to fish with worms, that's a big worm. Look at that thing. tasting matcha tea. They do not perform a tea ceremony. So according to the guide, you eat the confection first, all of it, before you drink the tea. And that's matcha tea, which is powdered green tea. What do you think? How does it taste? It's kind of like sugar cookie dough. You cut it with the wooden stick in the bites and you eat it all before you drink the tea. We just drank our matcha tea and it reminded me of my wheatgrass juice. Very flavorful, very earthy, I would say. It's a powdered green tea. It's supposed to be very good for you and healthful and I think it has the most caffeine out of any type of green tea. I think, not sure. But um, this tea house where we are is very restful. The scenery is unbelievable, very calm. So this was a nice Japanese tea house ceremony. Can we get our Japanese tea? 
We had to take our shoes off to go into the tea house with a cool wooden key. They give you little slippers to walk around in while you enjoy the nice view. Pretty bridge. Behind me is the 300-year-old pine. It's one of the largest black pine trees in Tokyo. It was planted 300 years ago by the sixth shogun. And we are wrapping up our trip of these gardens. We have absolutely loved it. It's been so wonderful to just feel the breeze, walk around, see all of nature. Extremely restful, very zen, if you will. So we're coming to the end of this and now on to the next adventure.